The Samsung Galaxy S24 series is gearing up for a January debut next year, and even though there's still some time left, the leaks and rumors are already painting a vivid picture of what to expect. Adding to the anticipation is a fresh report from the reliable Samsung-related leak source, Revegnus. According to the report, the entire Galaxy S24 lineup is set to feature LTPO, M13 displays and boasts an impressive 2,500 nits of peak brightness. This marks a departure from the past where only the Ultra models had LTPO panels with the capability to reach such high brightness levels. The next-gen M13 OLED display panel is thinner and more efficient alternative to the M12 panel found in the Galaxy S23 series, Galaxy Z Fold 5, Galaxy Z Flip 5, and the latest iPhone 15 series. As per the leak, the primary distinction in the displays of the Galaxy S24 and the Plus Slash Ultra variants would be in the resolution and size. Expect the Galaxy S24 Ultra to sport a sizable 6.8-inch display, the Galaxy S24 Plus with a 6.65-inch screen, and the Galaxy S24 with a 6.1-inch display. Yet the excitement doesn't end there, as reports suggest the series will be powered by the much-anticipated Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This second Gen 4 NEM chipset is rumored to be exclusive to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. In the USA, it's likely that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will also drive the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus, while the Exynos 2400 chipset will take the reins in other parts of the world. Samsung is rumored to downgrade the 10x zoom on the Galaxy S24 Ultra to a 5x one. And while this decision can mean that the flagship reportedly launching early next year will miss out on some features belonging to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, Samsung's Galaxy Ultra line has been marketed with over-the-top hardware specs, so I come think that a downgrade would be logical. Apple has certainly bridged the gap a little by upgrading to a 5X telephoto camera, but in my many camera face-offs of late, the Galaxy S23 Ultra's 10X telephoto camera remains the best camera phone for capturing faraway stuff. The average consumer might actually be puzzled by a 5X telephoto camera, especially when a 10X one looks more appealing on paper. Samsung wouldn't be able to market its flagship with double the zoom capability as its main rivals, so this downgrade would be a mistake from my perspective. I know there's still time before we see the Galaxy S24 Ultra in the flesh, so I'm banking on this rumor to not pan out. Lastly, Samsung shakes up the color palette of the Galaxy S series every year, and these may be the hues for 2024. Black, gray, violet, and yellow. The first two are pretty standard and are usually marketed as Phantom Black and Graphite. It seems the Galaxy S24 series is gearing up to be one of the best smartphones, and let's hope its price could be around $1,000. There are still time left for official announcement, so take these leaks as pinch of salt. Thanks for watching. Peace out.